What's up, baby? It's your girl Tati Chanel back with another video. So today I have a pretty exciting video. So first off, let's look at my nails. Okay, so I have my bust down pink acrylic, which is available now on my website, and it's just a very very pretty pink nude with sparkles. I just love nudes, so this is what I usually go for every time I get a new set. So today's video is going to be a little different, you know. So I'm going to be swatching my acrylic powders. So you guys know that I came up with more acrylic colors. So a lot of people requested for me to swatch them to just see how they look on camera instead of in a picture. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So all right, baby, so the first one I'm going to be swatching is the Oshi Peachy, which is a regular plain nude, no glitter. And by the way, I'm going to be using the Glam and Glitz Monomer and my Alpha brush in the size, I believe this one's a size 10. So I absolutely love this nude, just for like an everyday, an everyday, um nude an ombre it's just a perfect peachy nude and yes you could use this with any monomer it doesn't have to be the exact glamming glitz you could use the mia secret you can use um what else can you use glamming glitz young nails literally it works with any monomer the hey beautiful monomer so you don't need a specific monomer for this. You see it holds its shape. So these acrylic powders dry at a medium speed, meaning they don't dry too fast or too slow. And it's great for beginners and at advanced as well. So there we go. We have a nice smooth application this is Oshi peachy without glitter this one has no glitter to it it's just a plain nude color oh my god guys i'm gonna drop it i'm gonna drop it oh god oh god oh god okay okay so now we're gonna be swatching the Oshi peachy with glitter i adore this color as well And here I'm taking small beads, okay guys? I'm not trying to do a one ball method or anything like that. I'm just really trying to show you guys how you can move it around and all that stuff. This ain't no application video, okay? I'm just literally showing how you can just move it around and stuff like that. So this one's the same one, like the one we did. But this one has glitter. Guys, let me tell you, oh, the glitter in this is so beautiful. So there we go. This one is the Oshi Peachy with glitter. I'm just gonna pinch that. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There's a mosquito. Ow, 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 ow. Damn. You know when it just be itching and you can't just wait? Oh my god. And then when you itch, it feels so good. Okay. So the, yes, this one is the Oshi Peachy with glitter. Super pretty really nice consistency even though it has glitter so this is the same color without glitter and with glitter so again you can see the beautiful glitter okay next we're gonna do the bust down pink with glitter here is the bust down pink with glitter I absolutely love this color it's like a perfect pink nude with the little sparkles I don't know guys that the the glitter just does something to me I'm absolutely like obsessed with glitter
and as you can see it literally is still molding it's not drying it's not running wherever you want it to go it's gonna go so there we go this one is the bust down pink with glitter so yes there is a difference between these two obviously this one is obviously pink and then this one's peachy guys when I tell you this mosquito ate me oh my gosh so here's the new glitter we launched oh my god it's so beautiful so this glitter is called icy so this one all you're gonna do is pick up a bead of clear like this and pick up some glitter can you guys see So literally, you just have to play around with it. And this one, you will need to encapsulate it. Just because you are going to have some pieces sticking. Some pieces are not going to stick. So it's just beautiful. My God, I love it. And it's okay if you leave like these little pieces hanging. When you file them, they'll come off so you don't even have to worry about that so literally you could build this as much as you want as little as you want it's really just up to you I'm just trying to show you guys it's not as hard as it seems you just have to play around with it so all you do is just pick up your clear dip it in the glitter and you are good to go the thing I like about this one so what we did so with this glitter we pre-cut it so we cut it so the sizing wouldn't be that big because you guys know like some of the shards that you guys like that i've purchased before are so huge that they can't even stick on the nail like they're so hard and plasticky but this one is honestly so easy like it just look at all these colors oh my gosh okay so once this is placed, you have to encapsulate this, okay? Again, encapsulating, we're taking a clear bead. And just going over it. So, you know when you encapsulate something because it doesn't have no more shine. So, as you can see, this has no shine, but this does. So, that means I only encapsulated this part and not this part. So, that's a good thing about the glitters is when you know you encapsulated it right so again taking a clear bead of acrylic and guys I will soon come out with a clear clear acrylic all I have on my website is a pink clear this clear that I'm using is my acrylic collection but it is not available just yet so as you guys can see, this is how it looks encapsulated. Look at all those beautiful colors. Oh my gosh. So we're just going to let it dry. So I could put top coat and I can show you guys. So while this is drying, we're going to move on to the next one. It is the newest one we launched. Which is basically our milky white. Because obviously, girl, it's in the name nut, you know. <laughs> Heel ho nut. <laughs> just kidding. That's in the, just kidding. That's not right. Okay. Shut up. Okay. So, on this one, we're swatching coconut. Beautiful consistency. Really easy to work with. This one, I'm just going to drag it. I'm taking another bead. So there we go. This is our milky white. Okay, so I'm going to put top coat. I'm not going to cure them just for time's sake. So here we go. I'm literally just going to brush the top coat on here. Okay. 
This one's the Oshi Peachy with glitter. This one's Bust Down Pink with glitter as well. This one is the brand new color we launched called Icy. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Guys, the camera's picking it up a little different, but in person, yo, that's so pretty. And then this one is our coconut, which is our nice milky white. Cue that. I don't know, can you guys see that? It's so pretty. Like, this is not how it looks in person. It really looks crazy. Like, the amount of colors it has in here is so beautiful. Okay, guys, so these are our swatches. So, again, Oshi Peachy, Oshi Peachy with glitter, Bust Down with glitter, the Icy glitter, and this one's our Cocoa Nut. So on this one, I'm going to show you how to do the transfer foil. So this is our transfer foil, and it comes in this beautiful little container. As you can see, look at the butterflies. So it comes like this with a lid, obviously. And guys, when I tell you it has a good amount in here, like this thing is going to last you forever. So these are $4 on my website. So look at how pretty... It just has really beautiful print. So we're gonna do this one, the white, so you could just get an idea on how the pattern looks and how to apply transfer foil. Okay, so again, here is our cocoa net. I just shaped it just a little bit because the tip was just a little too fat for me. Well, she was a little thick or whatever. But, um, so I took off the top coat which we didn't cure, remember these are still not cured. I just left them like that. So here we're gonna use our transfer gel. And I'm literally using one from AliExpress, okay guys? Like, you don't have to use a high-end one. The um, Supply Glamour one is good, I could recommend that one. And also Daily Charm transfer foil is really good. But this is all I have with me and this does the job. So this is what we're gonna do. All we're going to do is apply a generous but thin amount of the transfer gel. Make sure, if you want every spot covered, make sure you cover the entire nail. If you miss one little spot, the transfer foil will not stick. So if you leave like a little indentation without gel, it's not going to stick, okay? So just make sure everything is covered. Remember, transfer foil gel is a little thicker than your regular gel top coat. Okay, so once you completely covered the entire nail, we're going to cure this, which means we're going to dry it in that UV or LED lamp, and I'm going to put it for 60 seconds. So I'll be back. So when you use transfer foils, you need to know which side you're going to stick it on. So on this side, it has all the print, all the butterflies, all the flowers. And then on this side, it's the same, but it doesn't have any color or it's like you know it's matte and then over here it's shiny so you always want the matte side the one that doesn't have color on top of the nail so there's two ways you can do it you can literally just cut a piece and use that or just directly like stick it on the nail so i'm just gonna stick it on the nail so you could just see what i do okay i want it right here I try to get the butterflies and the flowers. Okay, so I want it right there, right? All I'm gonna do is press, 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 press. And while you're pressing, you're rubbing it, okay? If it got stuck or not, by this, look. So it'll start lifting from the sides, so you can see already it's starting to lift. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, oh my god, and the butterfly came in one. That's so cute. Okay, so this is how it came out. 
So look, if I wanted to put a flower here or anything or another butterfly, I could. So I'm just going to show you that you can put another butterfly. And there's a mount on the little spot that we want. So I literally want it like right here. And then we're going to cure again for 60 seconds. Okay, so we just took it out the lamp. So remember, we just put it on this part of the nail to the top. So I want it like right there. So this is my main concern. Is this butterfly? So I'm just pushing this thing. I'm just rubbing it basically. So you also want to rub with pressure, okay? So there we go. It was easy as one, two, three. So there you go. Literally, this is all you do. It's really easy to do. And then all you would do is put gel top coat. So that's what we're going to do. And then we cure this for 60 seconds. Alright babies, this is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. It came out super cute. The butterflies to the nice glitter acrylics. So I will leave all the links in the description so you can go check out my shop. So first of all, I want to say thank you so much for whoever has bought from me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm continuing to make orders every single day. So thank you for your support. Thank you for supporting me. And once again, don't forget to subscribe so we can go to 10K. We're almost there. And so I can do a giveaway. I'm so excited to do the next giveaway. So again, a lot of people have been DMing me like, oh, you didn't even choose a winner. Yes, I did, baby girls. Yes, I did. I sure did. Her name was Jada. And um, I messaged her through Instagram. I even posted her on my Instagram story. So if you missed it, I'm sorry. But I did choose her on June 20th. And her package has already been sent. I sent her her tracking. So yes, I did send out the package. So, but hey, hey, listen to me. Don't get sad. Once we hit 10K, we're about to do a huge giveaway. So I'm so excited to do that. I already have stuff that I want to give away. So always make sure to subscribe, like, and comment what video you guys would like to see next. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications on so you can know when I post a new video. And I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Thank you so much.